In today's episode of Blender Add-ons, we're going to talk about a useful and free add-on that can help you with shading in Blender, and it is called Import as Decal. As the name suggests, the add-on deals with image textures as decals. It adds them to the scene and then shrink wraps them to the selected object surface. It also adds some effects above it that renders it more realistic. It is actually an add-on that combines two functionalities, a set of modifiers and a complex node tree, which is very interesting. So, once you install the add-on, you can find the option to import a decal in the Shift plus A menu. Under Image Texture, you will find an extra option that is called Import as Decal. Clicking on it, you will be able to select an image to import as decal, and you can snap images to faces by using the snapping tool, also you might need to be on the material shading mode to see the textures on the viewport. Now, after you are satisfied with how it looks like, and you are sure that there are no intersections between them, press N and you can work on the M panel which is gonna include all the settings you will need to modify the look of your decals. This add-on basically adds warrants to the decal and manipulate its look by changing the amount and scale of each one of them. And you can do this adding contrast, stretches and scratches. In addition to tweaking the distortion, augmenting the damage, also changing hue and saturation in addition to other things. This add-on is basically based on two workflows. First, the modifier workflow, which automatically adds a substance modifier on its sixth level, and it uses simple subdivision in place of the cut most stark. The other modifier is shrink wrap, so it snaps the imported image directly on the object surface. We also have the shader workflow, which includes a very complicated node tree combined in one group that shortens all the important settings as tweakable values titled enter the decal shader name. The importance of this add-on lies in its power of adding these great effects on the image texture. Furthermore, the use of node trees is hard to make even for intermediate Blender users, and the add-on makes it easier. On a side note, for those who have a good PC, you will not find issues while using it. But the modifiers, especially the subdivision surface, can slow down your computer since it is using a high level of subdivision. Otherwise, there is no other issue to highlight in this section. So where can this add-on be useful? As a start, it will be helpful for example for adding wanted posters or some old scrolls in your scene. It can also be useful in historical and sci-fi movie scenes, maybe video games too. So overall this add-on can be a great tool, and that's for many reasons. First of all, you will not have to waste and consume a lot of time in making complex node trees and adding modifiers to your objects, and its uses can be wide. In addition, if you are familiar with the shader workflow, you can upgrade the node system to add another feature to it by yourself, such as choosing a particular image texture for the worn effect, tweaking the colors and much more. And most importantly, it is completely free. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.